What up, everybody? What's going on? What up, what up, what up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? What up, what up? All right, and right. Yes. There we go. Comments. Boom. Here we go. Now we're just waiting. Bring up the Sweden pack the ball. All right. Then I snug. I'm gonna break it up. Get started. Oh yeah. Hope everyone's doing well. Got some uh, pure Kush times Kush from uh, Black Market Mesh to review. And uh, pure Kush times Kush, yeah. I mean, uh, pure Kush. Sorry, just pure Kush. My bad. That's just oh, because I crossed the pure Kush. So, my bad. No, his is a pure Kush. It's just a plain pure Kush. And uh, we're going to give it a taste test. So it comes. All right, all right. Let's see if anybody comes in in the next few minutes. Oh, the weed broken up at least by then. I think notifications just went out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Getting everything packed up. Ready to go. Okay. How about it? Right on. What up? Well, how's it going? Welcome. So we got one in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Really? Yeah. How's it going? Got the bowl packed. I'm going to give it a nice review. All right, here we go. Yum. Very yummy. Smooth so far. <laughs> nice. Can't wait for the next hit. How you doing today, Solomon? What's going on? Cheers. Ganja doctor. What's happening? What up, what up? No sound. No sound, Ganja doctor. No microphone. You got no mic. Your mic's out. Ah, oh, fuck. He'll be back in a second. All right. Cheers. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Super cloudy. Yeah, man. No, I can't hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I had to go on Google because my stupid phone would rather go through Safari or uh, Google Chrome. Yeah, you have to go through Chrome, or it doesn't let you. Yeah, Chrome's way better. I noticed that Safari tends to, like, skip out a lot, <laughs> freeze a lot. Yeah, they make you use Chrome for this program. I got to switch the layout. Yeah. There we go. Works yeah. Better. It works better. But, better. yeah. yeah I was like definitely some, was definitely some oh, yummy bud. I just didn't know what it was earlier. I finally got a hold of him. But yeah, right you saw the nug. I took the picture. Looks good, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's tasty. It's not um. It doesn't have the it. It has the sweetness like the um, like the purple Kush, but not. It doesn't have the the grapiness. It's just like sweet without the grape. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, kind of more of a Kush flavor. Right? But this one is more. You can see the smoke more. It's cloudier. <laughs> <laughs> it's got more kick on the lungs. Oh, yeah. I like it. 
<laughs> and I have a, I do a pure Kush times Kush cross that I created. So I do like this strain. You know, it seems like a different phenotype than the one I had, though. It's got a different flavor, sweeter than mine. Mine's more uh, gassy. Yeah, I've tried some banana haze right now. It's pretty good, man. It's really tasty. <coughs> well, everything that Mesh has been giving me has been really good. Nice. And he always has nice sized nugs, as you can see. They're not like little popcorns, like uh, like big chunks, you know. Yeah, I'd rather want. Yeah, but <laughs> he's got like big old bags. Yeah, man, you got to go be through. Bringing me that fucking double A shit. I want some quad, quad quality buds. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. He brings me real buds, not fucking popcorns. Right on. You know, when you're paying for it, you should get the good shit. You know, what I mean, if it's yeah, given to you, you get what you get. But if you're paying for it, you should get fucking the good shit. Yeah. You know? Big buds. If someone wants to give you some popcorn buds, sure. A good gift, you know? That's a good gift, but you know? I mean, unless that's all it is. Unless that's all you get. But I mean, some buds are smaller. I understand that, but... A good selling point is a good size nug. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's definitely, you know... When you can look at it and you're like, oh, it's got nice hairs, nice fucking colorful leaves. You're like, oh, yeah. Uh, Blue Dream grows like that, man. It's like little Christmas tree buds, man. They're perfect. You can, like, see every characteristic of it when it's dry and everything. Yeah, see? That's it. Yeah. People like those fucking uh, bag appeal buds, man. Yeah, man. And, like, um, yeah, like, I'm wicked pumped. A bug, a um, bug killer all, all at once. Chris, Chris gave me, came to my, Chris came to my house and he dropped me off some feminizing spray and some, so I can make some seeds. And he also dropped me off, he dropped me off a, he dropped me off like two big fucking bags full of seed containers so I can send seed. Yeah, dude, he hooked me up. Now I don't have to buy either one. He hooked it up. So he's going to, that saves me money right there. Yeah. So I can Probably make the actual, you know, <laughs> instead of having to, well, well, before I was stress, I was stress harming my plants. Now I can actually spray them, do it the correct way, you know? Yeah. So then everybody can stop there. You know, even though the other way works, you know, they can stop doing this, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I used to do the lateralization way a long time ago, too. I just started. Because if, I'm, if I'm doing it the right way, then what, what who, who are they to tell me, you know? You know, exactly. if I'm doing it the right way, yeah. then they got no reason to talk. Yeah. And, and I'm doing the males. I'm doing the male pollen as well. I'm doing the regular seeds as well. So, you know, and those are going to be the fun. The autos, the regular yeah, autos. Those sure are going to be keep, awesome. Make sure you keep regular autos around because you're breeding, right? You want those around. Yeah. I'm, for the autos, I'm keeping the regular spray. I'm not feminine, no autos. I got regular pollen for the autumn. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's going to be regular for the autos. No, no, fam. Just do like a, Fuck that. When you find a when you find a killer auto that grows fast right off the hop from your cross, feminize that one. But always keep your regular from your uh, original stock so that you can back cross someday, just in case you, you know. Well, right, but I gotta, make I gotta make the seed. I'm it. making the regular seeds so then I can grow them again, and then I can spray them so then I can make the yeah. feminized version the second time, you know. So I can get both out of the same plant. That's what I'm doing. Because I'm crossing um, those see those with MK Ultra feminized voice. So You're right, right, but it but it takes time because you through, like, you can only do one strain per tent. You know what I'm saying? Everything else yeah. that gets pollinated, yeah, those are testers. Unless, those are unless, testers. Those aren't. Unless you have like a ten yeah, you by can, three tents running, you know? Right, <laughs> that'd be nice. I wish I had ten three by threes. Me too. But I don't think my girl would ever allow it. Yeah. I would too, man. My, she my said when the kids move out, maybe. Shit, <laughs> yeah, when the kids when the kids grow up, I can take over their rooms. That's that's the dream, right? Yeah, that's the dream for me too. That's the dream. Later on down the road. And I own the whole <laughs> fucking ranch. No, and the no, ranch is no. when the ranch what becomes yours, then it's on. What up, what up, <laughs> Oh. 
yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna fem them, but if I have the if I have regular male auto flower pollen, so why wouldn't I use that first? Because I grew the auto flower male myself. I know what it looks like. Yeah. I know that it had good structure. And once I pollinate those females, they're gonna grow better now. You know? Plus yeah, plus they're gonna I'm gonna have a shit ton of seeds with them. Just one, I'll have a whole fucking handful to keep trying. Oh yeah. And then I find the best out of that handful and I fem spray it. Then, you know, that's how you make the fem beans. You gotta find the best of the best, the best of the best, best, best. Yeah. Then you just create an IBL, IBL screen once you find that wicked female. Yeah. And since they're already regular feminized autoflowers, they're not gonna photo period ever because they're, they've, been fem, they've been auto to auto all the way. Fuck that bullshit. What do they call that? Like S3 and 4 after when it. Yeah, right. Because I got. And now I got the Kush Van Stitch auto mail. I'm going to collect that one's pollen too. So I'll have another oh, mail nice. to, mix, to mix and introduce too. <coughs> so I'm going to introduce the second mail pollen, the second breeding round. So I can breed in the second mail. And then I also have my. Um, I kept the. I kept the. Um, I kept the bolo mail for a, that one's a regular photo period mail. And that one is for a male. That's a regular photo period mail. And it smells dank. I kept it. it smells well, really I dank. Regular seeds in a while. I haven't grown regular seeds in a while. No, but I'm I saying to, to stabilize to stabilize some of my genetics, I gotta breed them with regular. You know, male pollen. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, and then I can and find another one and then breed that one once I find a stable female. Yeah, that's sick, man. That you have regulars because you can keep finding the best ones out of each round. That's the wicked part. Yeah. So the seeds are just going to progressively get better. That's all I'm saying. They're just going to keep yeah. getting better. Oh, yeah, definitely. How every strain is made, but yeah, like, um, and I found out there's. I, I wish I knew. I could have started with this from the beginning. Did you know there's a rainbow Kush? No. There's a Kush plant. If I if I had known this from the beginning when I started my Kush breeding program, if I had known there was a rainbow Kush to begin with that expresses many different colors right off the rip. I could I could have found a plant that did that right off the rip. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I guess there's um, somebody was telling me there was another one. Um, I think it's Dream Queen. I think it was um, Nexus was telling me produces um, you know, like rainbow corn, like rainbow colored yeah. seed. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fucking sick. badass, dude. That'd be wicked. Yeah, dude, to breathe that into it, that would be wicked, man. Dude, I want like all the cool traits in one. Like, come on now. I want, I want Nexus train. That train I want, I want, a, I want, I want, I want some kind of like super rainbow garden, you know? Yeah. Well, you're getting there. You got the, like last round there. That, those were a nice. Color. Yeah, man. Then I can um. Yeah. Gotta make a fucking unicorn. You know what I'm saying? Something really rare. Like I said, man. Keep sending them butt shots to fucking high times, yo. One day end up in that center pool or on the cover, man. Yeah, like I said, Bloom, Bloom Plus, Plus Bloom Plus is already strange. Bloom Plus is already fucking cashing in on those shots. They're already using them. They're, they're not stupid. They're already using my shots. Yeah, sure. they're, they're not dumb. They're like they're, they've already got two of mine up on their fucking um, Instagram yeah, website. Like that's Instagram. badass. Yeah, I'm on their Instagram. That's fucking badass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, right? Hell yeah. I I that, but yeah. And, and High Times and High Times started following my girlfriend. Yeah, yo. Nice. On Instagram, their Instagram group started following my girlfriend. Well, I mean, they're watching, you know what I mean? That's good. That's good, man.
Do you get that centerfold? Do you have all bragging rights? Yeah, I got centerfold, bitches. <laughs> That's definitely every grower's dream, man, to be on that centerfold. Yeah, man. Cannabis centerfold? Yeah, man. Yeah. That would be dope. But yeah, like like I said, since since I'm already working with new kids and Bloom Plus, they can use my photos off the rip, you know what I mean? Because I'm already working with them. So yeah. Bloom Plus is already using my photos on their on their Instagram page. They have two of mine. In with their collage yeah. of butt shots. So that tells me that they probably use their other YouTubers' butt shots as well. But that's awesome, right? Like, who doesn't want to be a part of a company that's going to advertise for you? You know what I mean? Where people are like, oh, yeah, I saw that butt also on Bloom Plus. Yeah. Yo, how are new cats with that? How are they working for you? Dude, like I said, they're big plants. You saw them in the back if you watched the video I made today. Yeah. They're beastie. They're beasty. The purple Skittles and the Arctic Monster Daddy, they're beasty. And like I said, it's, now I have his... It must be just um, a few growers I have the pem spray, so I can just spray them. I yeah, Chris gave me the pem spray. Have you guys, and it didn't look too great. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I'm like... Well, dude, I like, some people don't know how to grow fucking feminized seeds. That's just... That's what it is. Like, you hear all kinds of people bitching about feminized seeds. Like, dude, you gotta know what to do with them. If you don't know what to do with them, yeah, you can have some problems. But, I mean, there's a certain way you want to grow feminized seeds so you don't run into those problems. you got to defoliate. Really? If you leave the plant... Yeah, if you don't defoliate to the, you know, the way I do, Definitely. you're going to fucking... <laughs> you're going to stress harm those plants. Because if they can't get fucking light, those bottom nodes, boom. Harms. And that's where it will start. So that's why I clear out that bottom foot to begin with, right? And when I'm filling out my colas, I strip them. Oh, and you got to know which leaves to yeah. take. Any, any light-blocking leaves, remove them. Anything that blocks light. Well, yeah, it. I know that. Remove uh, it. I've always, been taught, I've always been taught less is more. Yeah. Definitely. And seriously, when you get further into flower, everybody's like, oh, don't defoliate during flower. I'm like, why, dude? More the more you leaves. defoliate during flower, the more bud production you're going to have. Yeah. The fucking the leaves ain't growing you buds. No. Fuck no. Not the big water leaves, but the sugar leaves are. Yeah, man. Like, like everybody's like, oh well, you have a bunch of smaller nugs. I'm like, dude, I have a bunch of nugs this big. What's wrong with that? Yeah. What's yeah. wrong with that? A bunch of golf balls. Fuck all that. Bunch golf I love balls. Golf I'm not balls. complaining. <laughs> I love golf balls. I'm not complaining. What's up, Scarecrow? What's, What's up, up bro? What up, Long time Scarecrow? Day. How was Florida? It was fucking awesome, dude. I got to go visit all my friends down there. Hell fucking yeah. Nice. It was Hell a nice getaway. What's up? Oh, that's a nice... See? That's what you want. Nice little caps on there. That's a nice cap. Yeah. Dude, that, yeah, that dosey do is... Fire, dude. Oh, yeah, those are golf. That's, that's a golf ball right there. That's a nice one. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. That's what I tell oh, you. yeah. You get defoliate, man. It, it promotes more bud growth. Yeah. Once you once you hit like day sixty of flower, literally you strip just don't all, take the leaves. all the leaves off. <laughs> no, you take them off after day sixty. You don't need them at all. You don't need them at all after well, day sixty. Well, think about this what do they way. Call that one process, uh, swaging or something. I seen it done with outdoors. I do the, What's I that, do the Cushman the technique. Off, just Anything that's got a purple stock, gone. I only pull yellow, stem, like, if it starts turning yellow, that's when I'll take it off and flower. But think about it this way. My lighting system I have is insane. Yeah, if so, you've got a lighting system that can penetrate through the leaves <laughs> and still give the full intensity to the ground floor, then you're fine. But Exactly. But See, I got rarely, the lighting in my garden, too. Yeah, so. I'm just saying, most people's tents don't replicate the sun. I'm just saying, most yeah, people's tents mine. don't. And my little four by four some people got some really intense wild. lights, but most people need to defoliate, and they're not, and that's why they're having fucking problems. Oh, yeah, for sure. See, I, did, I didn't know that with feminized seeds. Yeah, because, all right, they already have that Hermie Jane in them, so if you, if you stress that plant out whatsoever, it's just going to throw that fucking a couple of balls. See, and that just it might be makes only at the another bottom. reason why I could fucking care less about feminized seeds. 
I'm just saying they're easy to fuck up. That's all I'm saying. Stick with Regular, my fucking definitely reg wrong. photos. Yeah, way to go. <laughs> but I'm just saying, but it's nobody's fault if they give you a feminized seed and the thing harms. I mean, shit happens. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's nobody's fault. Like, I mean, there are, there are feminized seeds that are more stable than others, but it takes time to produce those. You have to back cross them and back cross them and back cross them and back cross them with females. You know, yep. It takes time. Most people don't do that. They just don't. True. Well, I wanted to stop in and say hi. I made it there and back, okay? I'm glad you did, man. I'm glad you had fucking a blast, man. I got to see all my good friends down there. My friends down in Florida are like my friends like you. Oh, it's That's like awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. People I like, yeah. people I can get along with, and anytime I see them, it's going to be fun. So, yeah. Fuck yeah. Good smoking dude. community. I'm excited for tonight for tonight's dinner because when I was down in Florida, my buddy gave me two pounds of gator meat. Oh, oh man. that shit is oh, so yeah, it's good. fucking good. Oh, it's good, man. You're Gator so lucky. Are... That's not even cool, man. I don't even want to hear about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's <just> good. <laughs> fucking bomb, good. dude. Some of yeah. the best meat that I've had was gator meat. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. It's I used to love chicken nuggets. All right. Then I had gator second, nuggets guys. down in Florida. I I can't stand chicken nuggets anymore. Fucking gator jerky was my jam, dude. Oh my god. Gator jerky was amazing. Well, my gator buddy jerky. My good friend in Florida, his brother owns a gator farm. That's awesome. <laughs> they have 1500 gators. Ooh. Yeah, all so, different sizes. Fucking hell yeah, dude. That's badass. That's fucking cool, so, dude. Like, I got down what, there. Um, what's the farm name? Does he advertise I it? I, I don't even know his brother's farm's name. Okay. And also, when I was down there, I went to uh, Miss Apple's Crab Shack, which is in, like, Merritt Island, nice. over going towards Cocoa Beach, right off 520 there. She's known nice. me and my buddy Scotty forever. Oh, that's Get cool. Get there. Dude, got to eat some fucking good fresh seafood. Like crab, yeah, shrimp. Shit was so fucking good. Oh. That's why I won't touch it up here is because I know what it's like. In the um, right. Yeah. Jasmine was Brandon. stuck in between. Jasmine was stuck in between the TV and the mattress. Because my mattress oh, is, my is on the floor. <laughs> my mattress is on the floor because we took off the frame, obviously, because she had accidents a few times, you know? She was like, fuck that. But then she just, like, slid in between the mattress and, like, the TV stand. Oh, and she shit. was just like, Ding. I was like, what the fuck? She wasn't crying or anything. Like, she was just, like, folded up. <laughs> so, but she the nice part is so my Katie up. For the whole drive, my Acadia was fucking running so fucking perfectly. Nice. Like, I was happy. So, I just wanted to stop in and say hi to everybody. How you doing, Tierra? Good. I'm tired a lot lately. I'm still whooped, even though I, like, got some sleep last night. Like, the drive back... Like when from me, I, the night before till yesterday, when I got home, I had two hours of sleep in like forty eight hours. Ouch! Jesus. Well, were you seeing I to people get back home? I was excited to get down there, so I didn't get much sleep going down to Florida. You see like, shadow people. No, I wasn't. I was, I was perfectly fine. I was fully me, fully like not not whacked out at all from lack of. Sleep. Yeah, well, and that's that's <laughs> kind of like, like me. Like, I get like two hours of sleep well, every I, night, and I can function perfectly fine. It's like yeah, I was, I was like, I'm, I'm glad you have sleep, sleep there, deprivation right? is definitely a uh, part of my life. <laughs> 
Yeah. Me too. So I got Jasmine waking up all hours in the night. Yeah. But I just wanted to stop in and say hi to you guys. Tara, tell Justin I said hi and I'll talk to you guys later. I'll hit yeah, him up later. Um, Good to see later. you. Later, everybody. Peace. Peace. Take care. And then there was dirty. Uh, <laughs> no, I went live on Teardrop, but then no one hopped up. So I was like, fucking lame ass people. I was um, I was fucking doing a bunch of shit. I, I was gonna off, hop I in, but my fiance said, was like, "You go live." I was like, "You go live." I said, "Watch." So I said, "They'll most likely come to your live." <laughs> liar! No, I didn't actually. Just kidding, liar! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care. I was just giving you guys shit. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, fuck! I had. I had fucking I know, 36 I people 15, online this morning. 415. Alright. And I smoked at 420 and then 433 comes along. I'm like, fuck this. I was I wanted to hop on, but my fiance was leaving for work. <laughs> no, I just gave another long shit. night for Tandori. Woohoo! No, me. definitely not. Uh-huh. Fuck no. Fucking guy was up late last night. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 2 a.m.? Yeah. Uh, I didn't go to sleep until 3 a.m. <clears throat> that's crazy. Yeah, that's and woke night. up at 5. Jeez. Yeah, see, I went just woke up at 5. Right Wait, was that yesterday on- then? I hopped on yeah. stream and hung out for a little bit and then uh, started getting people. And I had fucking 36 people watching my live stream yeah, earlier today. Right. I was like, holy shit. Fucking Dude, insane. I should just like, I should just like turn on my live at like three o'clock in the morning and just mute my camera and my mic and see if anybody besides my subs will go in the chat. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it open while I'm sleeping, but I won't let you guys hear me snoring or anything, but, you know. <laughs> just kidding. I don't snore. Justin get, does, fucker. Kind of that you know of. <laughs> it's oh, Justin. He's snoring. No. Uh, uh, it's funny because my fiance is like, I don't snore. I'm like, bullshit, you don't. You Dude, my eleven year old son. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> my eleven year old son's been snoring since he was two years old. Mm. Yeah, and, and Jasmine, she snorts when she's um, when she laughs. So, <laughs> and her dad snores like a fucking mad cow. God, I love I love when when little kids snort when they room, laugh. You know? Fucking hilarious. <laughs> The snort yeah, laugh but is then, my favorite. But then Jasmine, she just has her back in my ribs every morning. So it's like, <sighs> yep, time to get up. She's putting her, her, her feet in my ribs and everything. God. <laughs> just stretching. Oh, she's in the bouncer now. But yeah, Justin will be here in like a few seconds. He just put Jasmine in her bouncer. Nice. She's getting away from us. We gotta start buying baby gates and everything. All right, I got it. I can do that. Here. What's going on? Whew. Stop. All right. Daughter's got me running ragged. What's going on? <laughs> daughter's daughter's jamming herself in, in weird places. Yeah, corners and stuff. So now she's got to go in the bouncer. So then I got to find the, find the phone that she's put somewhere. 
Move the move the because we only have one fucking camera, so I had to move the camera over, get her in there, get the thing moved over, get her changed, and she was trying to keep trying to flip over and crawl away naked, and I was like, "Come on, stop!" <laughs> and she's like, "God, please!" <laughs> and then and then at the end of it all, I can't find the fucking phone to turn on her show, so I'm just like, "God damn it!" That's always the worst when you can't turn your cartoon on, man. Oh, you know you can't turn those cartoons on. It's not over. <laughs> no. So I had to have her fucking go find the phone because she's just going to... You already know, man. It doesn't end. It's going to be a series of grunts followed by crying. I can't fucking wait, dude. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. I can't you fucking say wait. That now. Just, just no, wait. I'm just dead. wait. You're not gonna, no, I've already, you're not gonna be able to I've already dealt with it with all be my prepared family. For two years of no sleep, and if you do it again and you have a second one, two more, you know. <laughs> hey, man, you have another I one, already, two more years. I already of no sleep. don't sleep. So No, you think you don't sleep. You, know, you really won't sleep when you have kids. Because as much okay. as you don't sleep now, it's gonna be even less. You sleep Dang. even less than you do now, so you're just gonna be like dead tired wow. all the time. Yeah, just wait. I don't, I don't know about that. But you gotta because keep that get, chipper smile on your face the whole time too. I get, I get yeah. like two hours. You of feel sleep like a masochist, like you, you know, like somebody so. you're like, I'm so happy, yes. you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, everything's great. Yeah. <laughs> even when they get older, you get to. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> It's like the person at work that just has to be happy all the time so the boss won't fucking fire him, you know. It's like, I just gotta be happy, you know. Because, <laughs> well, I mean, kids, kids don't have a they day off. They stapled up smile. Well, the kids, are, yeah, the kids are smiling ear to ear. So they constantly, yeah, daddy, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, and you're like, oh, God. And it's just like, fucking, you don't have, you don't have a fucking choice. You gotta go. Doesn't matter how how bad you want to peel yourself off the fuck, can't peel yourself off the bed. You still got to get up because they're not waiting. And I just said, wait until she fucking can run across the room and knock on the door. It's gonna be even worse. <laughs> was, da-da, 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 da-da. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind, dude. Put the link in your channel. Good job. All sub support, good vibes. Hell yeah, Solomon. Right on. So my other phone that I use as like so I can see the chat, uh, I got I got a little angry with it this morning and I kind of chucked it. So uh, I don't have another phone to see chat. So I don't see chat for all you people out there. <laughs> no support, none. I'm on my own it. here. Well, I see Solomon in the chat. He's been here. Since the beginning, pretty much, yeah. I need to find another phone that I can use as, like, a spare phone, but I don't think I have any. <sighs> oh, I think he'd be up here if he could. Like, he must be busy. Fucking plant. Plants are doing amazing under the the non sketchy driver light. Oh yeah, you can tell. Oh yeah, they're gonna like that. <laughs> are yeah, well, uh, yeah, no, like I said, um, shit. No sketchy driver. <laughs> sketchy driver gone. Shit, I know. Fucking, I got some. I got some nice big colas coming. You should check out the video later. You'll see them. I made a video today. Sketchy driver sitting. Much. It looks like it's doing much better than sketchy driver. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got this thing pumped all the way up, turned all the way up, hundred watts. <laughs> All the way. I blast my seedlings. I turn. I, I put my seedlings under 100 watts right off the bat. What's up? Hello. Bro, wave hi. Say hi. 
She's like, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> what you doing, Dana? Yeah, man, she's starting to talk a lot. She's only 19 months. Oh, yeah. Crazy. She was walking at uh, 11 months, man. She... Wow. Like I said, mine's trying. My girl, my little daughter's trying. She's, but she falls down. But another month, who knows, man? She might be standing. Yeah. Oh yeah. They learn real fast, dude. Watch, man. Like they learn real fast, man. Once they get screwed around, you're gonna be running everywhere. Yeah, running everywhere. Yeah, it gets crazy. I'm just so lucky she doesn't stick random shit in her mouth. She doesn't. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that she problem. just grabs toys. Toys or tags? She really likes tags. She I loves sticking the tags in her mouth. She chews on tags. <laughs> you know? Hey, hey, it's a tag. It's not going to kill her. I mean, they're not the yeah. cleanest thing. But, you know? Yeah. Anything that's got a tag is her favorite toy because she can just chew on the tag. Chew, chew on the tag, yeah. Yeah, she likes sticking tags in her mouth. Right on. My uh, daughter just started liking uh, fish, so we bought her a little fish. We bought her beta. Yeah. Oh, right. hell yeah. Yeah. Fucking betas. Oh, I man. almost bought two of them and then uh, oh. the person that... You told, her, oh, she, you told her she can't touch the fish, fish. right? So you told her she can't touch the fish because she'll yeah. kill the fish. You do not do not put beta in the same bowl. No, they'll kill you. As other beta, okay. yeah. We used to do that no. in high school. I'm sorry, but we used to have beta beta battles. That was our crew. We had we had the beta battle crew. We used to what, fucking you to raise beta and just fish. Kill betas? We used to raise betas, dude, just to fight them. Yeah, <laughs> I used to have a fucking raise them, get them all bulky and back. fucking fattened up, and then stick them in the same bowl, and we'd be sitting there fucking getting high, fucking placing bets. It was fucked up, dude. <laughs> we were we were fucking teenagers, dude. Well, some people just do it at the store because they're assholes. Some people just pour them together oh, at the, the Petco. They go to Petco yeah, and they'll like, just boop, up. boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck? Because you'll walk in and you'll see them. Why are there two betas in all the tanks? Oh, no. Yeah. They're, they're gonna be dead soon. <laughs> yeah. Be dead soon. Yeah. As soon as, as, soon as one of them puffs up, it's on. Eh? As soon as one of them puffs up, it's on, and then they're just gonna. Oh yeah. Kill each other. <laughs> as soon as one of them starts, it's on, and they're just gonna go till the death. Bam! 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 bam. <laughs> yeah, they just go until they rip each other's limbs off until there's no until yeah. one of them has no more no more fins, and then it just dies. Yeah, they try to break their tails, eh? No, they they yeah, bite they, off each other's fins. Yeah, they rip they, all the the webbing in between. They'll rip all that apart, and then so they'll they start can't ripping win. those off. That's yeah, yeah, they're, they're really fucking, They're gnarly, dude. Those fucking betas are gnarly, dude. They're some savage yeah, they go, ass they, fish. They go, they, they go for the kill. Out. They go for the kill. Yeah, dude. They they rip all the fucking fins off the other male. Fucking kill fish, bro. And then it can't swim, and then they'll peck it to death. Holy. Yeah, they'll yeah. go for. They'll start going to for the gills, dude. They'll start going right behind the gill plate and start fucking. Yeah, once it's demobilized, then gills. they just kill it. Yeah, they're fucking vicious. Gnarly. I'm gonna get a yeah, we used to do it. Dude. We used to get just a normal fish ball and stick like fucking two of them in there, dude, and just watch them. <laughs> and, just fucking, go, and we'd be fucking. Everybody be fucking placing bets. Fucking, we'd have a board up on the wall, dude, in my buddy's garage. <laughs> <laughs> fucking raising betas. Uh, fucking. Beta battles, dude. It was fucking intense. That's pretty funny. Dude, I swear to God, that fucking tea killed my fucking virus or something. Like, whatever was in my throat fucking after drinking that shit just, like, stopped what being tea? a problem. I drank a shitload of fucking, um... I took that fucking... I took apple spice and I fucking... I overcooked the cinnamon, so it was, like, really, really... <laughs> Really, oh, well, fucking, it was, it, it was like a fireball. Fucking do that, bro. 
It was like Cinnamon fireball will burn tea. it out of your system. Yes. Like burn my throat. Yeah, just like nice. ripped everything out of my throat. Um, but yeah, like yeah, I can breathe would, here today. If you really want to fuck with someone, just have them try and eat a, a tablespoon of cinnamon. No, but it like cleared my shit. Like, and it's been stuck for a long time. Like, I, I wish I, I wish I could have done that like way sooner. Fuck your butt. Like, I've been clogged for weeks, man. I've been like choking for weeks, man. I've been like <laughs> gargling off my own fucking. Spit. Putrid. That fucking dab lungs, man. Yeah, I got dab yeah. lung, dude. Yeah, the it's cinnamon bad, cut through dude. the dab lung. Yeah. Dude, dab it lung. It's like you're fucking swimming right in dab. You're gonna have to it's have like you're swimming. Like it's like you're breathing you're dab. dab. You're like, oh, oh God. Well, yeah. My lungs are look so at, buttery. My lungs are so look at, buttery. Look at a rig, dude. The rig. If you look at a the rig, rig says like it all, all the right? little the bubble spots. It's like, yeah, dude, that's all fucking wax in the bubbles. Like, that's still making yeah, what do you it think? into your fucking lungs. Is that what like, yeah, so when you smoke a lot of dabs, you got to get that. So cinnamon hot balls would probably do the same thing. Just a big fistful of red hots. Oh, that sounds so gnarly. Oh, dude, it sounds painful, but you know what? It'll clear the throat for sure. It fucking God, hurts, fucking man. Long. I need to get a new dab rig. This fucking dab rig bugs the shit out of me sometimes. What the honeycomb? The, those little bubble pieces? No, the the honeycomb is fine. It's the it's all this this bottom bubble here. Oh, the percolator. Slits in it, and they fucking get clogged. So easy. So easy. And they get clogged what so bad, that? too, to the point where you can't even suck through it. Yeah, what you need to do is take your bong out, fucking clean out all that reclaim all the fucking time with that bong. Yeah. Oh, I have to clean it so Hold much. On. I don't know where he is. He's in there somewhere. But, but... yeah, man, that's my daughter's sick little... I bought her the Spongebob uh, pineapple there. Bro, that's fucking, that's badass. Yeah, that's man, cool. Sick little tech. Yeah, man, LED. What? Yeah, that's pretty sick, dude. Huh. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> is that your fishy? Silly girl. <laughs> yeah, she's cool, man. Wild little one. <laughs> Yo, you're making me want to get two betas now. I want to try that out. <laughs> yeah, well, just put them in our pocket. Oh, what, honey? What? Eat. I did not do it. What? Hey, don't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I'm, Wasn't I'm me. I'll, I'll leave my daughter's fish alone. <laughs> yeah. Don't so touch the so kid's fish. What, boo? Don't do it. Put Don't. the fish down. Let's so clean my bong and I'll chill for a... Let me clean my bong and I'll chill for a smoke session. Right. Right on. I need to... Uh... I'm about to do a dab while I'm waiting for her. I don't have much left, but I don't give a fuck. Let's do it. Don't give a fuck. Ugh. Well, I already, I already told my dad that um that when I uh, when I harvest, I'm gonna need some more pure, do some black Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we're definitely gonna make more dabs, and he wants more um he wants more dab cookies, of course. So I'm fucking. <laughs> yeah, he likes dab cookies, man. Like, Fuck my daughter Fucking. is ripping her out. She ripped her diaper Yeah, off, he just has me, has me melt the dab <laughs> into the cookie. Ripped her diaper yeah. off and moved away. That's gnarly, oh, no. dude. I, so I've, I've never heard a lot of people out here don't. And that's the thing. I haven't had edibles that are made out of wax. 
I've only had edibles that are made out of flour. Yeah, I mean, so why not though? Like, why the fuck not? You know, like people are scared to do it or something. Like, it's just a concentrated amount of, you know, it's just more THC. It's just a lot, lot stronger. Yeah. It's a different beast. It costs more money. I guess it costs more money to make, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm saying, like, I put, like, four dabs into every cookie, dude. Like, those things are fucking gnarly. You know what I'm saying? And then I melt it into the cookies. You know? You got to reheat them so that it melts. Sounds so completely. fun. <laughs> so, so, literally, you're dripping it. Like melting it to drip it onto the cookies, and then you're baking it into the cookies. So, so it's I'm getting like, decarbed I'm right gonna, into the cookies. And use my uh, live rosin in there. It'll fucking get me ripped. Yeah, well, what I do is I fucking put them on there, and then I heat them. I melt them into the cookies. Slow heat them and melt them into the cookies. So they just like melt right in. So literally, when you're biting into it, you can taste the dab. I'm just gonna go buy That's a terrifying. at the store and I'm gonna fucking oh, yeah. put it all over the top and then I'm gonna put it That's in the scary. oven and carve it. <laughs> Love time. Just get. I want one of those coils for my fucking dab rig. Sometimes I overheat the bowl. Just let it cool down. I just fucking hooked it up. <laughs> All you gotta do. I love the torch. <coughs> I don't know. I just like. I like it. You just feel like a chemist doing it. That's all. <laughs> yeah, it's just the process, dude. Yeah. That's that's what it is. Yeah. And I'm used to it. I have it down. I have it, you know, down to what I know works for my rig. Yeah, then sure. I gotta fucking change it and yeah. figure that up, shit out again. Like, all that. What up? What up? That's a thick piece right there. What kind of uh, nail is that right there? I went over. No, I actually made sure I went over there today and subbed Solomon. <coughs> you inspired me to make a, a an update in my garden right after yours, so I made an update. <laughs> right on. Thanks, man. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, fuck, man. I was like, I can't believe I'm not subbed. I was like, better do that now. I was saying that earlier. Uh, when Oh, look, there's teardrops. I'm like, okay. I was like, because she was saying that no one came over there to her live earlier. And I was like, oh, that's messed up. I would have. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. Too. I was like, oh, I didn't know she was live. She said, yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah. subbed. No, I'm just I kidding. just subbed. <laughs> No, I know. She was like, yeah, yeah, in the background. <laughs> She's giving you shit. She said the same thing to Ganja. Don't worry about it. She said the same thing to Tanny. She's like, ah, yeah, right. Well, yeah, it's just like she goes live when I'm too lazy to go live, you know? So it's, it's, it's like the same people, but it's just like fucking, you know, you'll just hear me talking shit in the background. I did an experiment with a solo cup, and uh, I don't think it it came out too good. I wanted to see if uh, uh there you could actually see the cover crop in there. It's actually like a weed within a weed. Hell yeah! It's, it's no, I don't crazy, talk but uh, I'll check it out. Hold on, <coughs> oh, right here. Oh hell yeah! You're like it kind of looks too scraggly for for what it is though. It's the pineapple that I'm growing though. But this came out so stunted and everything. It just looks. Like not even half of what it what it normally has, and stuff like that's, that. So that's in I'm, flower, huh? Uh, it's it's at week seven, so I'm just like, eh, you know, what I, mean? I should. To me, honestly, I should have transplanted it to a one gallon, and I would have got the the Fuck weight you. and everything I wanted. Fucking reveg that thing. <laughs> reveg it. <laughs> oh, I I have I have over like fifty to sixty of those, so I'm just oh, not even worried about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> nice. uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, but um. Just experiment. Fuck with yeah. Chris yeah. came over. Chris came over today and he hit me with That's still pretty um, good. about oh. 200 seed <coughs> containers. About 200 seed <coughs> containers. <Nice>. And fucking, <coughs> um, and the feminized spray. So I was like, that's fucking awesome. So then when yeah. I make it, because I was going to order the fucking seed containers and I was going to order the fem spray. 
So that's like two things off my Amazon yeah. list right there. I was like, Fuck yeah. yeah, man. You I know? used the sea containers for uh, to put my clone gel in. And when I want to apply the clone gel at times, I just I put it inside there so it's easy to hold and stuff like that to make a few cuts and stuff like that. And I can just literally dip the, the clones or the, the clone stem right into the, the seed holders, the seed containers. Well, I, just, I, was using the, I was using the silicone dab containers because those are just fun, you know, yeah. and then I can just label them. You know, because who, I mean, and then you can just take some rubbing alcohol, wipe off the label, and then you got yourself a brand new dab container. You know, so I mm-hmm. thought that was a cool way of sending the seeds too. It was crush proof. But this is awesome that he just hit me with a whole bunch of fucking seed containers, you know? So it's yeah, like, those seed containers fun. saved me on, on <laughs> the clone dab, job, basically. The dab containers cost money, man. You know what I mean? Those saved me fucking big time <laughs> on sending seeds. I mean, right? I still have some dab containers yeah. to use too, because, you know. I like you guys and fucking. I want to. I want to make sure that fucking. Yeah, that's expensive good, for sea containers. I mean? A dab but container. It, but, it, but it adds up, you know. It but does. It, it's fun. Yeah, these are fun. How much though, is it you know? for? Like, two like, of them for five bucks, I think. No, you you can get good deals. You get like, you you spend like twenty bucks, you can get like fifty of these. You know. Oh, okay. It's not bad. All right, but then you you know if you put like two in each package, like because I was doing like two three strains each time, so then they added up. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, oh, fuck. And then, like, they disappeared so quick. I was like, God damn, I used those up fast. I was like, the 50 didn't last very long. I was like, God damn, those uh, go quick. No, nah, those, those little seed containers are perfect, too, because, like, sometimes in the mail when I, I used to have a uh, – it depends on on the area of someone sending me seeds. The seed, per, or the seed carrier people will sometimes scan it and look at it and see that they're seeds and try to crush them. You can't crush them in a seed container. So that, that'll save your life on yeah. that. When it comes to seeds, a silicone yeah, container might crush get crushed. Yeah. They try to crush them. They try to crush them on purpose. I, I've I've actually got them in the mail where they're just crushed and stuff, and they you can see how they were all crushed up. And I'm just like, oh, and they were in regular baggies though. I was like, oh man. Yeah, they like ran it through five times. They made sure they fucking destroyed no. It they literally just mind. stomped on them or smacked something on them to squish them. I was just like, fuck, man, that's messed up. Yeah, they saw him. They just smashed him and fucking sent the package like that. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And they put it through the rollers too. You got to remember that. Yeah, too. I know that they put them in the rollers. If you're getting, if you're putting it in a regular like envelope package, uh, the envelope, the envelope goes right through a roller and it, it'll literally get squished. Anything in there if it doesn't have any uh protected in there. Yeah. That's that's always so, good to know. Um, yeah, so a pen works really good. Uh, that's what offensive used. He used a pen. He took a hollow pen and just filled it all the way end to end. That was smart. We did the old school smart. method, and I still do it till this day. It's a uh, bird seed. Get whatever flavors you want. Mix it in there with a little bit of bird seed in the bag. Uh, all you have is bird seed, and they don't fuck with it. Yeah. That oh, used to be the, did... the easiest method there. Oh, and you just pick out the cannabis seeds, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty fucking obvious what they are, you know. You should be <laughs> yeah. able to know. Yep. Yeah. It just takes a little bit Dude. of time to find them, right? Yeah, I mean, well, it depends on how much fucking bird seed you're going to put in there. If you put, like, a small little container well, of just bird just, seed like, in there. straight sunflower seeds and then throw That'll some work. fucking cannabis seeds in there. Because I got, straight I got organic like, a ones, though. Seven foot freaking sunflower in my backyard. This got I know, but I'm saying if you make the heads of sunflowers, if you mix it with like regular birds, you, you, probably couple. Couple. you probably lose a couple. You probably lose a couple because some seeds don't look normal. You know what I mean? That, well, it depends yeah. on how big how big the bag of seeds. You know what I mean? If you're just putting like a small little bag of, of bird seed or something exactly. like that, or say like if, yeah. or say uh, yeah. doing it the sunflower method, I would do it the sunflower <laughs> method, but. Definitely don't put the cooked salted uh, seeds in there mixed with the, your cannabis seeds because that'll contaminate no. your seeds and they won't grow. Definitely not. Well, and that's like I got these. I got these containers from someone. These little vials. And yeah, each vial cool. has two cannabis seeds, but they had four sunflower seeds in there too. So oh, when wow. they looked at these on the scanner, all they probably saw were the sunflower seeds. They didn't see the little tiny fucking two cannabis seeds that were in there i thought it was fucking genius it's like all right that's what i'm gonna start doing i always put at least a, a grain or two of uh dried rice with my seeds just yeah. to, so it, you, for all, for all storing the mylar, and sending them all you need is the mylar bags you can get like a hundred yeah. of them for like 20 bucks on amazon 
And dude, anything you put in those mylar bags, even weed makes it. Just saying. Just yeah. saying. I'm not advising that. Yeah. But if you and, and if you should happen to steal that edge with a heating device and it should happen to have weed inside of it and that somehow makes it through the mail, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, those mylars are pretty about good. that, but it does work. Um, you know. <laughs> Just saying. As long as you don't contaminate the outside of the bag. You know, don't pick it I up know, with I a really handful wish of I, I still had some of that flour you sent me. I really wish I had saved a nug of that. <laughs> I was told my friend huh? that, that that vacuum You can't replace that, anything. can you? Can't oh, replace no. that it's amazing, yeah. <laughs> oh, I told you, I grow some good weed. You can't just go buy that at the dispensary. Fuck, no. <clears throat> you wish you I'm could. I'm stoked, man. I'm finally getting these orange finos that I've been uh, trying to... Well, I will uh, be able to when I fucking... Ooh, orange flavor? Faster. Yeah, it's... Orange. A, um, I'm talking to the people from Mantis Genetics where I got it from because uh, I'm sponsored by them and they gave me a shitload of their seeds and then they gave me some stuff called Shorehead and I, I go and grow it and <laughs> nothing says that it, it, it has an orange pheno to it. This stuff tastes like straight. Like if I broke an orange in half and just squeezed it in my in my nose, I was like, man, huh, what is this? Yeah, and it's half of it's like a really strong C B D strain. It's an A C D C crossed with their uh I think Lucille's OG that they created. Oh shit. It's really good. Dude, I saw something that, that uh, I'm looking that? for a lot of really Zero good C B D crosses. Hey, hey. Fill, fill the pipe. What's going on? What up, ready hit? Surprise, he's not up here. <laughs> oh, ready? I just Red, got some. Red, uh, I just got some critical web from someone, so I'm fucking stoked Ooh. on that. Yeah, I told you that's the fucking pink, pink-haired pheno. If you find yeah. that, that's the one I've been wanting, just for the color, dude. I just want to grow it, dude. That shit's cool looking. Yeah, well, that's, that, um, you, should, you should look into Durban Poison. That's how Durban Poison <laughs> grows. I love Durban Poison, man. That's some of the best South Durban African, Poison is a uh, is a very heavy pink pheno, pink hair pheno. Yeah, well, I need very, very. That. I yeah, need it reminds Durban me of like a, a, a good Hindu. Curl. Yeah, pink hair is pretty much. Yeah, but that time. one that one has pink buds, dude. Not just the hair. Oh, so, okay. Buds. So you're talking about pink. Critical okay. Lab has the pink right. buds, dude. I want pink uh, butt. I've seen that before with a, a pink panty string. I know. I just got some of the, the purple panty dropper. Oh, I got the and, purple uh, panty <laughs> dropper growing. I got, I got two the, of those. I got coming. those, too. I got those, I got two and purple I got panty the other one. I heard that's fire, man. I got some two the, purple the panties dropping. I'm just hoping one of them is the female. Glue, whatever the fuck nice. the other one was. I, I grew so those. Um, forbidden, you're going to need... Panty glue. They will pop, but I guarantee you want to shave those seeds. Yeah. The, no, I, I, I tried to pop them. The seeds don't don't come off the fucking sprouts. And then when I tried to do it manually, I killed the sprouts. How do you guys so shave you, your seeds? I use a fine grit sandpaper to kind of go the, like in the certain yeah, spots. Right, to right on that edge that cracks, you know the edge that opens, right, on a seed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Run yeah. It, just a few times lightly on that super fine grit, and they'll pop for you, and they'll be awesome. Sweet. I just noticed that mine I just didn't. Use, uh, just I on use those seeds, I'm just warning you. I'm just warning you because those ones need to be shaved. They're older seeds. They did pop, but they died. So I would shave them. Mm. Yours Pop will probably die. make it. I just, you know, they they were my girls, so I didn't want to take too many of them. So I let her keep the rest, but I did try those. I'll try the next ones on the next round, probably. Sweet. But she has them to do it in a giveaway at some point. Cause she won on elevate. She won on the elevated channel as well. Nice. But yeah. She just said she wants me to. She wants to smoke it, you know. And then you know, she wants to make sure she gets to smoke it first, you know. And then she'll do her giveaways, you know. She's like, I want to try those first. I want to give before I give them away, you know. Yeah. The seeds, cause she has more seeds, but she wants to make sure that you know if they're good, we're gonna keep them in the garden first. You know. Bring him into something, dude. Bring you guys with me to go and put this clone back in my flower tent. Right on, right on. Well, at least one of the plants is supposed to be bred. Uh, the purple panty droppers is a Humboldt seed, right? 
that's what I believe. It's definitely uh, a yes. Yes. yes, yes. So it is. Yeah. So or the are... Trinity Triangle strand. That's what I think. What everyone's calling it. It's still in the humble area. So it's supposed to be some good shit, man. So I'm hoping that it comes. Well, that seed's but, not good. But my, I put my uh, UK cheese, one of them, back into veg, and it's not revegging. It's still flowering. I'm like, what the fuck? But it was like so early into flower. It wasn't like, pineapple in here. It was like it was literally like week three of flower, and it looked like week one. So I put it into back into veg, and now it looks like it's on Damn. week two of flower. And I'm like, what the fuck? It just won't stop now. Nice, just, Sal. That looks nice. It's like you teased me. I'm just gonna flower now. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, yeah, the plant's just doing what it wants now. It's just flowering still. I looked at it again this morning. It's still flowering. I finally completed like my clone bucket. Uh, I had a whole clone bucket completely full of uh, these clones, and uh, so far they're doing good. Look like one didn't make it though. It's right there in the back there. That sucks. Well, the I know when, like you, doing pretty good. when they're laid in flower, the last two weeks of flower, you can run them in 24 hours of light, and it won't be till like the third week of flower that they start to reveg. Ah. So you can actually maximize. You can actually give them a little bit more light at the end if you want to. You could actually up it like two, three hours. It wouldn't hurt it. The last two weeks wouldn't hurt it whatsoever, especially if you're just going to crop them. Basically, cut them down and never run them again. All right. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you add a little more light and get some more flower? Um, I got mom plants, so I never have to worry about revegging or doing any of that stuff. No, but that's why I, I can make twenty-five if, clones like every two weeks. Right, but, but what I'm saying is, if you have that plant and you're, <laughs> you're just going to crop it, like cut it down when you're done. Yeah. The last two weeks of flower, if you run it under like you know, instead of doing like the twelve, you know, the the twelve twelve. You can do it yeah. eighteen six, you know, and it's still going to produce flour. You know, it's going to just keep getting bigger. You know, what I I'm can saying? see that. I can totally see gonna, that. I got a lot of friends who just not going to reveg because if you've ever reveg the plant, it takes like at least till week three before it starts to reveg. It just continues flowering. The buds continue to grow. Do you, you know do a, I mean? a twenty four to forty eight darkness before you cut? No, I'm not saying I do this. I'm just saying, in theory, you probably could do it. Ah, okay. But do you do um, those? I did, I did the 48 hours of darkness, and actually, on one of the rounds that my plants didn't color up on me, the 48 hours caused them to all color up. And I was very happy ah. with that. So I was like, that's dope. See? I did so, yeah. I did an experiment with these same these same cuts here, and I did everything like an organic, and then I did another one straight in rock wool. Every single one of my rock wools came out like a rainbow color. Even the different strains. The pineapple came out rainbow. The Tahoe came out rainbow. And these the other cushions came darkness, out rainbow. Right? No, I did everything hours. the same. The only difference was rock wool, I think. Rock wool and then organic soil. Oh, you got some nice it. colors, huh? Oh, I got yeah. super colors in, in the rock wool. Like, for some reason, the rock wool brought out more colors. Um, You know what I've also... Awesome, but but most people only flush for two weeks. I've been flushing three. So that's a big difference in the colors. You know what I'm ah, saying? Okay. Plus, I think that they're still because I don't flush completely. I still hit them mm -hmm. with the bud booster only for the last three yeah. weeks. I cut away everything but bud booster. So they're still getting pushed the whole time. Nice. Yeah, so basically I'm pushing them the whole time, but I'm taking away their food. You know, flower for me, but starve. You I know? made my own nutrients. It sounds pretty crazy, <laughs> but uh, I do oh, I do something with uh, using Korean natural farming techniques. I made a, a kale ferment, and if you go and look at the, the nutritional value of kale, it literally has everything a plant needs. Like, you name it, oh, yeah, it's that's in the why, kale. That, um, yeah, that's why they use the, the kale in a lot of the fertilizers, too. Uh, it, yeah, show me a fertilizer helps. that does that, because I've been wanting to research it. I think some of the fox farms actually have some kale and stuff in them. Ah, I'm, I'm sure. going to check them out, though. Nice. Think yeah, because kale has mind. everything in it. In the ocean forest, I'm pretty sure there's kale. Yeah, that experiment I told you I did with the rock wool, I, I took a, a clone and I put it in a four inch rock wool cube and then I literally <laughs> foliar and sprayed it on the rock wool with nothing but that kale ferment and water and it came out like a huge cola and, and like probably like this big around. Like it was it was huge. It was probably like a if like I'm an wrong, that's cola. really cool. And if I'm wrong, that's and it was cool. rainbow colored. Yeah, it was rainbow colored. It was really crazy. That's awesome. Hell yeah. So you're starting to figure out the color stuff too. That's awesome, man.
Yeah, because uh, I always thought it was it. either cold or genetics. You know, it what doesn't I mean? that have to be colors. It, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be. You just you got to know what you're doing. You know, but some plants, no matter what you do to them, they just stay green. And those, to That's me, true. gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah, gotta go. Can't I had a friend it. also tell me on this subject that uh, uh, if you um, slowly give it nutrients instead of giving it like organic nutrients with a bunch of fucking amendments and shit like that, it'll stay green. But if you slowly give it like you know where you're barely like you know bottle feeding it like every week or so or every so and so, you're gonna get those colors come out more. And I, I agree with that, that. What he said about that, and I was like, you know what, you're right, dude. The the rock wool where I slowly gave it you know just enough nutrients came out with mad color. But the other stuff I did in the organic soil was just bright and dark green, basically. Um, didn't, didn't yeah. that, that was mesh. He's like, I missed it. I'm like, dude, I'm just going to tell him I'm still alive. What do you mean? You didn't miss shit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a, a couple of videos on my YouTube showing the, those those rainbow experiments that I did that I was just talking about. Pretty interesting. Yeah. I was like, damn, he didn't miss nothing. I'm still on here. Here you go. Keep going. All right, if you can move the mat. Uh, here, I'll do another dab while I'm waiting. I wonder what I'm kind of sandwich is uh, Reddy's eating. He said he's going to jump up here uh, after he eats his sandwich. Yeah, I'll do another dab because she's, she's in the middle of the kill, kill uh, rally. She's, she's in there fucking playing Call of Duty. Nice. Close she was talking phone. about earlier how she, she she plays it on her phone. Call of Duty Mobile, Day of Reckoning. Day yeah. of Reckoning Mobile. How much is it? Do they uh, charge you monthly, or do you get like it's one free. free for getting it? It's what? free. On yeah. yeah, get on there, man. I'll I'll check it out then. I'll yeah. definitely check it out because that's something I wanted to check out. I'm gonna that's cheat though. I'm gonna zero, cheat. I'm gonna get the fucking zero. the. I'm going to get the remote control that I can plug into my phone and cheat, though. Oh, that's how I'm going to play it. <laughs> she said she's still going to snipe you. Yeah, probably. I'm pretty good in, in Call of Duty, though. Like, Love. that's all I play. She's up to 26 in, in, like, two days. She's doing pretty good. Yeah, she told me, she, she told everyone yesterday that she was sniping, like, like mad people yesterday. I had 20 I like, kills right now. She's got 20 kills on this in this current match. And my team, and it's live, my dude. She's slammed. Oh, so she can hear everyone going crazy, uh, getting all mad. No? Yeah, she can hear them getting mad while she's slamming them down. She's loving it. She loves making people angry. Come on now, <laughs> crazy. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, fuck them, never talk shit. <laughs> Motherfucker. I can't wait to start squishing, man. It's been a while since I've I've squished anything, dude, to be honest. Need some rosin in my life. That and some dry sift. I got these dry sifts, and the first time I used them, honestly, I used them wrong. I, 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 met, I put the, the micron screens the wrong way, and I didn't get the results I wanted to, so I ended up eating the stuff, and then when I showed uh, my buddy Melty that that recommended me these screens, how I did it, and he's like, "Dude, you put the screens on the wrong way," and I was like, "Uh." So learned, you know, I, that's a rookie mistake on my behalf. He's like, "Golly, did it wrong." Yeah, you didn't uh, do the right sizes, huh? Yeah, I mean, it was a common rookie move. I didn't, I, you know, I'm not a pro in using uh, the screens and stuff for sifting, but you know. You, Learning the hard way is learning, you know, become a pro after learn, you know, learning the hard way, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it. <coughs> Biggest to smallest. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, dude. I didn't think about it because I do bubble all the time. I have, like, all these bubble screens and stuff like that. And my work you bag is a 220. You, you know what I mean? Known. I should have just thought about it. You know, I was, I was just yeah. being stupid. You were high. I was really high. Really high. Yeah, at that's that point, I, I was just like. And then I was high. Yeah, I can't blame it on just being high all the time. I was just, I didn't Why know not? better. You're high all I, the I didn't time. know better. I saw a couple of YouTube videos and thought I was a pro <laughs> after that. And said I can do this shit. Fuck it. <laughs> no. No. no, no. 
Yeah, I saw you had some kind of alien head on your video. I was like, oh, that's cool. Or something. Yeah. Oh, that's just our. Yeah, I was really high posting a random video there. I saw it. Yeah. I was just like, right on. Cheers. Wow. Wow. Oh, Bruce You cannot look at that picture without going in your head. Look, if I dance around like this, he looks like he's dancing around ready to scrap, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. What's that? <laughs> okay. I know you sure. can't. You can't do it. You want to say it? You just want to say it. <laughs> so hey, John, that's, like, that's, that's like that famous joke. You know, what does Bruce Lee eat at Burger King? <laughs> or this one? Remember this one? <laughs> the two finger punch. His two finger oh, punch. Yeah. Remember his two finger punch. Two finger death punch. Yeah, two finger death punch. Yeah. Yo, what it I is? Studied, is I studied. I studied in the art of Jeet Kune, Kune Do, so I, yeah. I I know some of the. Uh, it was Filipino body. style Jeet Kune Do, but uh, it's, it's it's the same as uh, what Bruce Lee. Taught. Well, you gotta you gotta strengthen your fingers before you can do that shit. Oh, you, you have to literally bone. break all your your knuckles in your hands and your and your uh, everything, every bone in your hand to the point where hey, you zero. re you reshape in it. Because if you have pussy hands, basically, yeah. or what what I mean, your like dull hands that will break, and it grows. It back. won't work. Break, you, no, you literally yeah. had to yeah. rework your knuckles, everything, like like shape them up, just like in Kill Bill, Remember where she sat there dad? and beat the shit out of that thing. Dude, to make yeah, there, was, there was this guy. I was there was this guy. I was in jail with him, right? He was a nut job, like dude, like. Everybody used to fuck with him, but dude, I I used to watch this guy because he you used to work out like this. He'd be punching the ground. You know what I mean? You gotta watch those guys. Because those guys, when they hit you, dude, they're gonna fucking fuck you up, man. Well, yeah, because they're fighting the concrete. Dirt. Well, dude, they they broke their knuckles so many times that they're just yeah. bricks. Of, just, they're just, just bricks. Their them. hands are bricks. You can tell a fighter, you can tell a fighter by looking at their hands. Yeah. I've always yeah, seen that. When big, you look at their hands. Massive, and they, if they got, if they got big, massive mitts, knuckles, dude, like, oh. watch out, man. Small guy with big mitts, watch out, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, watch out, because he's going to fucking, <laughs> you know, you know. I've seen little guys <laughs> fucking just take you off your feet, man, real quick. Sometimes it's the small guys you got to watch out for. The chihuahuas, man. They're, they're quick, dude. Fuck, man. <laughs> They'll run up your back before you even see them coming. Oh, spider monkey style. Oh yeah, dude. Those guys suck, dude. They suck to fight, dude. Fight them. You gotta fucking slam those fuckers till they're broken, man. Because they fucking keep coming, man. Right. You gotta break bones with those fuckers because they ain't gonna stop. They ain't gonna <laughs> stop. They're not gonna stop. <laughs> you literally have to like, you know, kill those motherfuckers. You know, they're not gonna stop. They're gonna yeah, keep getting up. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Dump them. They're just gonna throw another fucking jab in your eye, and you're like, what the fuck, you know? Oh man! Yeah, I plan on making some uh, uh, rosin, and then from the rosin, I want to make. Uh, I this is my first time I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to buy some stuff off the internet where the I go and take my rosin and then mix it in to make a <laughs> to make a pen juice, basically to put it in a pen. Oh, I've oh, never done it before. I I want to do it though. I got some. Hold on. Where where it puts it? Pen like juice. PG and PG. Some e juice. <laughs> oh, I might not be on the shelf anymore. It might have fallen off. <clears throat> but so I have one. I, I bought one like that was meant for like a it's like, like a an e pen. It was like a a one. They had like a pod and stuff like that where you could refill the pods and stuff like that. I bought it for no, like a hundred something. You gotta bucks. you gotta get the liquidizer. It's like a little bottle. Yeah, that's what it is. That, that, yeah, the liquidizer. Basically, you put it in a in a shot glass like this, and then you put it in a microwave, and you blend it in together. You kind of put it in there for a couple seconds, open it up, stir it. A couple seconds, yeah. open it up, stir it, and then you're good to go. Yeah, it takes and you like put it in like there's a little syringe take, thing, huh? and then yeah, it takes like you just want to you just want to cook the um, rosin long enough to get to it activated and, and to blend it. Yeah, you have to decarboxylate it or decarb it, right? A little bit, yeah. So the microwave yeah. just decarbs it a little bit, and then it fucking, and then it melts it together with the liquidizer, and then you suck it back up, and you just whoosh, right back into your thing. All right, yeah, you that makes sense. Use, that sounds legit. Yeah, you just need really uh, clean wax. 
Yeah, you cook it for yeah. like 10 seconds at a time. Like it, it heats up real quick. Cool. Well, I, um, I plan on using bags for my or rosin bags for for squishing. So. Well, think about it, like so you put me. a donut, you put a donut in the microwave for 30 seconds. That motherfucker's hot as shit, you know. Just a couple little yeah. drops is just gonna heat up real quick in that shot glass, yeah. you know. Doesn't take long. No, yeah, legit. No. Yeah, so like 10 seconds, and then you just stir it together and suck it back up, squirt it right in the thing. Plus, it's gonna get hit with that coil again and reheat it before you absorb it. So you should yeah. be good. Yeah, that's what I figured too. Yeah. Yeah, it's like hitting it with a lighter a second time, man. It's good. It's good to go. <laughs> Finding it, man. Yeah. So yeah, you can get and you can buy the little cartridges. They don't sell them here, though. They said the cartridges are legal for them to sell empty. I'll like, show you what I got here. here. I think I I have it right. You got some cool yeah. ones with like ceramic coils and stuff. You know, they got some nice ones. Just depends on which ones you buy. It was this uh, thing called the Offspree. It was actually meant for like vaping and stuff like that. I, I, uh -huh. I, I saw it because I, 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 it had everything I wanted for. Uh, uh, I used it for CBD. That's what I put in it initially. And then uh, this thing was freaking awesome. This thing doesn't have any buttons or anything like that. You literally charge it from the bottom. It comes with these uh, these pods right here, and then you can easily refill them right here with these pods. Take them out. They're all magnetized, and all I all you gotta do is inhale, and then it works. You know, it's pretty simple. It's it costs like a hundred yeah. something, but yeah, right. So you could just get like a you right. So buy yourself a little, you know, gram of fucking distillate, mix it yeah. with a little bit of that liquidizer, and refill your own carts. Yeah, that, that's what I figured out. I would do with this thing. I was like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I just <laughs> haven't done it yet. I bought that thing, and I I used it for CBD, and it's just been stuck in here for a while. Nope. Yeah, just get a fresh cart. Cleaned it out and everything with no head. It's still alive. Yeah, the head's right there. Why? She's trying to grab it. Uh -uh. Oh, my hell. She's she showing me a dead. fucking fish that they gutted that's still alive. I'm like, oh fuck Come out of here! Thing still flopping after I've they seen videos it. like that where like they're trying to you cook a fish it? and it's all filleted and it's flopping around in the oven. You yeah, the meat is still flopping. Yeah, they yeah. cut its tail off, cut its fucking head off, gutted it, and it's still flopping. Flopping at you still. Like, the worst is when it's cooked and on and on someone's plate and it's still flapping. I saw a video like that where I'm just like, what? And the people are freaking out. Like, oh, hell no. Zombie I'd be fish, having it and fighting yeah. all the way. That makes no sense to me if it's cooked. <laughs> you know, if it's cooked, it shouldn't be moving. But for some reason, this shit was moving while it was it was cooked. Hey, fellas. Oh man. Or the people that try to eat the live squid and then they the squid hey, tries Danny, to eat your face. Long time no see. Oh, Good what up, Johnny up Bong? What's going on, man? Oh, uh, brother. Bong. Johnny Bong. Oh, Holy <laughs> shit. Ready, Johnny's here. Johnny, what up, brother? Johnny, hey, what's up, everybody? Tandoori. <laughs> yeah, we got Tandoori, Hot Fire, Salmon. Hey, what up, brother? Yeah, if I saw a fish like that, Sal, I'll be like, <laughs> I'm going to be stabbing at it. <laughs> Ain't no fish like that coming to my face. Oh, stuff, hell man. no. Hell no. Oh, 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 you stabbing at that bitch? You saw that thing. That thing wanted to go back to the ocean or wherever it came from. It was moving. It was like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, cool. oh, hell no. So crazy, oh, right? Hell no. Oh, oh hell. That's the buffet. That man. You Look. going in there? You going that's to eat the that shit That's a back raw on the fire. meat Cook buffet. That shit it's 25 tried to crawl away. <laughs> that shit was like, oh, oh hell no. <laughs> you ain't eating me, motherfucker. It's like, oh, eat it. <laughs> I'll be all up there, all oh, stabbing man. ass. Like, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be ready. They'd be ready as a dead animal. He'd be like, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for this. I am right away. <laughs> They'll be all like, you lie. Fuck, <laughs> dude. dude we, I can only imagine being the animal that sees that fucking blade coming. <laughs> God damn, right? 
Come on, Ray. Come on. You know, the fish, that, the live fish, when they cut its head off, that sees that blade coming, must be like, this motherfucker. You know, like. <laughs> you know, like I would put up a fight. Yeah, well, no shit, right? I would too, right? I'd be like, fuck this, I'm walking away. <laughs> You ain't eating meat, motherfucker. Yeah, and if my fork wasn't big enough to stab that, man, I'm going in with a knife on that, yo. Yeah, but did you see the one where the girl tried to eat the live squid dad. and the squid, like, literally wraps its tentacles around her face? And, like, and tries bites to eat her? It fucking bites her with, yeah, the, bites with her, beak dude. and shit, dude. She was one of those famous fucking foodie people, yeah, too, well, that got like, beak, five man. pounds of lobster and shit like that. She finally got her karma, but it was crazy, dude. I think... I think the craziest thing I've seen uh, was uh, uh, when it came to a fish was when they showed a video of a marlin. Someone caught a marlin. I forgot where it was, but the marlin had fucking tattoos on it, dude. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. It, had, it, it was unexplainable. Look it up. The video's on there. Look it up on there. Like the, the marlin had weird ass fucking tattoos on it that was born with these tattoos. That was the thing. They say that maybe a, a plastic could have been wrapped around it and it grew on it and it slowly faded away and these markings could have stayed on there, but the marlin had like tattoos on it, like tribal looking weird tattoos on it. There's a video floating around on YouTube about it. It's fucking crazy. The dude ate what? it though. The dude ate it? So, yeah, it was a marlin. The dude caught a marlin uh, with like these tribal tattoos on it. Dude, he ate a fucking it. fish god. That's not cool, man. That's yeah. I would have let it go. Fish god, dude. That thing's probably like a fish alien god, and That's he what fucking I don't think ate it up. Like, dude, those fish are gonna kill you, man. Oh, They're pissed. Right. Dude, you just you just oh. threw off the balance, man. It's like Moana. You just ate it. Fuck, man. You just ate Moana, you fuck. <laughs> God, this guy was like some tribal guy who, who you know, only spoke his language. He, like that, but he didn't know better. Yeah, well, the fish gods are going to kill his ass. Just wait. He'll be, he'll be right. soon. Gods, no. You'll never hear about this guy again. That's his last catch. But that was probably the coolest fish I've ever seen. That was like just the weirdest thing I've ever seen on the internet. It was like a big ass marlin fish with with a bunch of yeah, but, tribal tattoos all over its what body. If they, what if they guy? What if they have a video like a year later that says like guys they caught tribal marlin fish is speared by marlin? <laughs> right. That would be the karma right there. That would be the fucking karma right there, right? Speared to death by Marlin today. Right. Fucking like one of the fucking one of his yeah, brothers comes back. Like he's a motherfucker. He killed my uncle. Piercings. Killed my uncle. That was the, the coolest king. fucking Marlin down here. He didn't here, even do it with his no, He was the man. coolest Marlin down knife. here. And he killed him. <laughs> he pulled out a knife, yo. <laughs> the fucking Marlin in town, man. <laughs> Yeah, he probably got tattoos and piercings and shit. <laughs> First evidence that mer mermaids really exist and he fucking eats it. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, dude. That's exactly what I thought. Dreads, exactly what I, thought. I thought well, these fucking like, dreads, like but... this Marlin was hanging out with this mermaid society that, that made them one with the mermaids and shit and they gave him tattoos like, oh, what's up, Marlin? Oh, nothing, just chilling. You want a tattoo? Yeah, come over here and sit down. Could have been one you know of six, mean, nine crew. Yeah, so now, <laughs> right. now fucking uh, the gods from um, what is it? fucking uh, Atlantis are gonna come for this guy. The Atlantean gods are coming for this motherfucker. Oh, they're pissed. Yeah. Yeah, that's pissed. bad. That's bad fisherman juju. He's gonna have Aquaman a like throwing like a fucking triton down his throat or something. Aquaman's <laughs> gonna kick your ass. Right? I would have took pictures with that fish and fucking just let him go, to be honest. Yeah, dude. And I would have showed the video of me letting him go to let everyone know that I let him go. Like, no, but nobody would have believed it if he let him go, right? Right? Everybody exactly. Everybody said it was a boof video. He had to eat it to prove that it was a real fucking fish. Right? No, nah, he, nah, he was just an islander person on a boat. You know what I mean? He was one of those things that he just happened to catch that day, but it was so rare that when he brought it back to his, uh, his, uh, where, where he lived, all the native people that were surrounding the, the dock were like, whoa, man, that's not a regular fish, man. And they took pictures of it. And someone made a video from a cell phone and it went viral. And he turned it into yeah. a fish fry. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, dude. by the way, literally, 
Where did that video come from about that fish? That wasn't. It like was a, on. It was on YouTube. Video, it was, was it? just a random viral YouTube video <laughs> of like. Oh, you can look it up. Just fish or you know marlin fish with tattoos. <laughs> Danny, you ate one. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just thought it was interesting. You ate like, you fuck? Fuck? I told you, Dad's blaming us. We ate stuff. <laughs> he ate it though. That's the crazy <laughs> thing. I don't know. That's what we're all chirping about, <laughs> dude. The dude ate it. Not, not that the marlin had tattoos, but he ate it, dude. <laughs> I do not name my fish before I eat them. <laughs> right? You know that Marlin was like reincarnated from something else. Mm-hmm. He's gangster, probably had cats, piercings, right? <laughs> no one affiliations. And... <laughs> Yakuza? It was a Yakuza yeah. fucking Marlin. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. You could have like, years yeah. for some unnecessary roughness. <laughs> You know it's a badass Marlin when it has to do some time, yo. Right, dude? Uh, <laughs> check oh, it out. You've been in a few nets. Oh, you found, found it. it. You see what I'm talking about, dude? Look at that. Look. No, it literally shirt. has, look. Fish up from with the shirt. The shirt pattern went on the fish. And the ink link. Ah. Oh, okay. So it wasn't like fish. real life. What is my it's just a regular fish. You see how you see how that that could have been like 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 what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Hard, so man. I never got updated, updated on that. Joking. That was a long God time ago myth. that happened. So I'm God glad. Goddamn Mythbusters! <laughs> Goddamn Mythbusters! Ruining all the good shit. Yeah, man. Like I was thinking, we have like you see, like well, my theory was kind of right about that thing. Remember, I told you it could have been like a bag that it grew up on. That's that's what I thought it was. You know what I mean? Like it got stuck with a bag on it, and it it, it well, got imprinted with whatever was in the bag. And fucking, dude, so if he ate that shit, that shit was like some cooked meat. Oh hell no! Yeah, not that Probably cool. Yeah, the water will be all yeah then he was sitting in the <laughs> sun all day. Yuck! <laughs> then he's like, "You ate Mona? Fuck you!" <laughs> 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 Skull's death, death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, fresh bowl. Thank you, Mesh. You rock, man. Keep me loaded, reloaded, reloads, reload. Sweaty fish. He ate someone's sweaty fish. Yeah, he ate someone's sweaty. T-shirt fish. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. It's been in the sun all day roasting. Sounds yeah. yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the freshest shit you get in those. No, I can bars. see that. Now. Yeah. I can see that now. With, with, a, with a marlin or a sailfish or a, a mahi-mahi, <laughs> if you if you kill it or or when you catch it, those those fish change color. So I could totally see that. Uh, like how that yeah, was possible. He's like the strongest <laughs> tasting fish you can eat. So okay, so if they change color, it, let's just let's just put patterns all over them and let's start calling them crazy pattern fish or something. Make we should right. make contests of who can make the coolest fish pattern. <laughs> fish pattern contest <laughs> on. Yeah. Right. These right days feet. you can buy those glow in the dark fish at the at the pet shops. You know what I mean? Hell yeah! Put wow. a long India feather along. I've seen some fish. cool things about them. All right, yeah. but now now somebody's gonna like actually tattoo a fish, man. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's yeah, what they're doing though. You're literally tattooing a fish to go glow in the dark or fluorescent colors. Yeah. Oh yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, when I they actually got some of them out here in the pet uh pet mart. Yeah, pet smart <laughs> has them, and then there's I saw a few videos about how they do that and the process of how they they you know they. <laughs> Inject a certain <laughs> fish with with certain fluorescence and glow in the dark uh, inks and go it from there. My fucking mind, man. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> I was like, no shit. They they really do that to those fish. That, yeah. That's it's mostly in Japan, head. I think, that they do that. Or you you gotta get them sent here because I don't think they do it here in America. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I, I I no, I think you may be right. I haven't heard about them doing it here, bro. I think they're like an export import thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What, too. The like fluorescent oh, yeah. fish. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah. 
You can they buy them, like but yeah, them. they're not. I don't think they're natural now. <laughs> Definitely not natural. I saw videos on them. I think PETA will get us here in America if we're doing anything like that. We can get them sent from other countries and stuff. So it's yeah, but they do it even crazy. with they do it even with frogs too. <laughs> yeah, they do it with those white frogs. They turn those neon colors too. I've seen them with Pac Man frogs before. Oh yeah, Pac Man frog. Yeah. Yeah, man. That that got me a neon colored Pac Man frog. Yeah. The fish. Dude, no. It's not from the albino and the green one. That's the one they have like maroon on there. They do you can basically in inject the albino colors. and the maroon ones and all those other di- multicolor morphs. I like that uh, kind of frog, man. The one in maroon, I think they're believed uh, called like an ornate or something. But yeah. yeah, but yeah. He must the pixie all. frog is basically an African bullfrog. It's and then African frozen. bullfrogs have big old teeth like like a like a mouse. You know what I mean? They, they, they can hurt well, you. Well, I've had a they Pac-Man teeth. frog, but I didn't know that they dyed those like neon colors. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they do to some of them, not all of them. Most of them are natural morphs that they do. Yeah, from, from yeah. Mine, mine, mine was normal. Mine was pretty, though. Uh, mine lived for a long time. Well, the, you I can tell, you can tell a real one by their eyes. If their eyes are like, you know, albino color with the, you know, the albino eyes, then you yeah, got a good morph. They gave a, mine as a gift to someone else so it wouldn't die, yeah. There's a, there's yeah. a morph one that's got a little bit of maroon fish. on it, right? There's a, every well, yeah. morph of every color. So I've seen I've seen them where it's got like all maroon. And I'm like, okay, that doesn't look natural. I didn't see them all maroon. Like, Mine used to eat um goldfish and then mice. It switched from oh. goldfish to mice. My Pac-Man yeah. frog started with guppies, yeah. then I went to goldfish, and then mice. Oh, there's some carnivores. They are some carnivores, yeah. man. Heck yeah. I, yeah! I used to have a really mean one that used to scream, dude. Every time, like, like I get oh, near it, 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 it would go. It would do it for like thirty seconds till it like ran out of breath. I was just like, "Oh, you're the coolest." Yeah, they pop up, they open their mouth, and they fucking yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And they'll fucking bite you too. They got teeth. Mine bit me once. It hurt. Yeah, they got little rat teeth. I wanted to get one a long time ago. No, they they break skin, dude. It hurts. It hurts, man. Oh god. Oh yeah, I've seen seen one get bit by a Pac-Man frog. Pac-Man frogs and. uh, African bullfrogs both have teeth. Yeah, African bullfrogs are also known as pixie frogs at the pet shop. So if yeah. you ever see something called a pixie frog, it's an African bullfrog. Yeah, they get huge. Don't buy it. Huge. <laughs> huge. Like, dude, like, literally, like, they start off all cute and cuddly, like, this big. Like, little tiny yeah. thing. And then they get this fucking big. And they bite. So those and scream. Teeth get, they make noises. Those teeth get, like, this long. Dude, Some of them grow fangs too. They'll take a chunk out of you, and they kill. Oh, yeah. They kill large they rats. Right here, they usually have two. They'll two kill large right rats, here. man. Large rats, freaking. You can put a bunny to them; they'd eat it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that shit, because uh, they live out in like the Amazon somewhere, don't they? Africa. Yeah. Everything, right. Af- everything we'll in Africa see. is tough, man. Yeah, you everything in Africa will bite you. Everything in Africa will you. bite your ass. Even the frogs, man. Even the frogs, yeah. I mean, oh you got you got to imagine these are these are frogs that survive in alligator and infested waters. I mean, they got to be tough, Easily. man. Easily, you know, survive. they can't they can't be little wussy frogs. They just get eaten. Okay. They're know? not only surviving, but they're populating. So they're having they're thriving, dude. They're a frog that evolved over millions of years. That's what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? If if everything had enough time to evolve like the African bullfrog, it would have fucking fangs and horns and fucking wings by then. You know what I mean? Holy shit. Yeah. What we have happens? a lot of new species on our planet that haven't fully evolved. Yeah, right. They yeah, say the some... octopus is an alien species because it hasn't evolved like the rest of like the planet how it, how it evolved. You know what I mean? Scientists. They found, they found no DNA in the octopus that's related to anything else on Earth. That's wild. Yeah, dude. It, they say it, it, it can't possibly be from here. Yeah, the octopus. Yeah, the theory is that it came from like a shooting star and it was like inside the shooting star and it like popped up and just <laughs> kind of evolved. But there had to have been more than one. Maybe it was a clutch oh. of eggs that came down. I don't know. Yeah, like a meteor that hit that had cool. into our water and fucking released. It could have been a shooting star or something. 
For all yeah. we know, we have we have floating right. octopuses in space and stuff we don't even know about. But also another thing, another theory is that you know a lot of this life isn't really from here and it's been put here by a divine being. You know, I think another an octopus race. would survive another in space, alien, though. You know, but another yeah, there could be an alien race of octopods that are, no, think that are about human it. it doesn't have there anything it doesn't have octopus. bones and anything structured like that so it can survive with uh with like zero gravity and stuff like that well we don't but know totally, what intelligence is either you know that should be an experiment we should do put an octopus in like a zero gravity chamber to see <laughs> if it'll survive it, it, it probably would i bet you it <laughs> you would know, you ever notice how whenever they send a camera up there for however many years it's powered to be it yeah, they should they should test where... that theory with an octopus. See if it can survive yeah. in space. Yeah. Maybe they like, already did. I'm gonna look that I think up there's later. There's a bunch of shit out there that we haven't even covered. No, but Maybe I, I wonder if it could survive. In, I wonder if it could survive in the the atmosphere of space, outer Maybe space. Maybe it's something you don't want to do. Survive yeah, that's what I'm water. Well, we don't know. You yeah, know, because it, you like maybe it can survive without oxygen. More, because yeah, because the space and the gravity wouldn't let it dry up. You know what I mean? Did. Maybe it would have like its own little personal but layer around its skin. That thing, it like, maybe if we we like, threw that thing out of a fucking spaceship, maybe it would survive. Nah. You know what I mean? Maybe it would just fucking swim off. You know what I mean? We don't know. Picture of yeah, man, alligator freaking out of anything, right? Well, some people put a wussy for hugs. Well, alligators and crocodiles are like living dinosaurs. They've been around forever. Oh, yeah. What's up, Neil? Welcome. What up, Neil? brother. Good to see you. Sharks have been around for a while. Just like, yeah, man. sharks have too. And um, they're actually saying that the great white may, might be the reason that the megalodon no longer exists. <laughs> it outcompeted it for smaller food. and more, yeah. I hear the Meg Megalodon uh, is making a comeback, and there's been a bunch of sightings of such a uh, really big, great white. Check. So who knows? Maybe it's back. Maybe it don't call it a comeback. You know what I mean? Come on now. Well, well, I mean, there could be. There could be a. I mean, there's a huge part of the ocean that we haven't fully, you know, discovered yet. And yeah, there's a lot more. Be seen. Yeah, I, I can believe there'd be a oh, big, yeah. humongous, like, shark down there eating pilot whales that go all the way down there to eat squids and shit. You know what I mean? We you know what I don't believe? believe? You know what I don't believe? That our planet's gonna be fucking dead in my lifetime. That's what I don't believe. There'll always be things dying and 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 birthing. That so whole, where, that wherever there's a death, there's a birth. Global there's warming birth. theory is a crock of shit. <laughs> the Earth will far survive our children, you know. I can agree with you. I gotta agree. With you. It's climate change. It's happened since the beginning of time. It's not global warming. It's fucking climate change. It's just a big campaign. You can add to fund more fucking rich people. It's just a bunch of bullshit. We're gonna adapt, or we're gonna die off like those before us. It's a scheme. It's a fucking pyramid scheme. That's what it is. What if the climate change was actually the world shifting, though? Like, we, the globe is going so fast well, the, that it kind of shifts. The are it's shifting. Access. They are <laughs> shifting. I mean, what's more likable, what, what's more likely is another ice age. That Because that shit could really it. happen again. That could really happen. Still that's cold a, up, that's a realistic fucking thing that could happen. I'm a tropical person. I don't think I would be able to survive in, cold in, in ice or anything cold. Well, that, that's the problem. I mean, killed a lot of things, man. I would and die you, off with the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, man. I I was saying, we'll all freeze to death. You know what I mean? And then the oh, and then the earth will start over. Basically, I think our earth will take us out before we'll take it before we'll take it out. I, mean, I agree, you know. Awesome. The Earth finds a way to balance itself, so. Well, the Earth finds a way of killing things that are cancers, you know? Yeah. It, yeah. You know? <laughs> You're a cancer to the Earth. You gotta, you gotta go. <laughs> and, you know, humans are the biggest cancer to Earth the Earth's ever seen. Yeah. I agree. So, I think that uh, the I Earth will survive, well. but we might not. And yeah. that's why we need, that's why they're exploring outer space, because we need another you know, we need another occupiable planet to start over. 
You know, that's what they're really doing. He's looking for another place for us to start over before our population is killed on Earth and there's no other option. Our species just dies. What if what if the octopuses did kill the dinosaurs? I mean, what, what if they did? Maybe they're waiting to reemerge. Who knows? Be right. lad, lad octopus. Or maybe the aliens are just waiting until our technology is good enough and then they'll just take over. I don't know. Maybe they're doing the same thing that 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 um earthworms do to us. They're just waiting for us to become compost and you know what I mean? Yeah. They're slowly just waiting for us because we just eventually become compost. I mean, to them. you know, and who and who says the government? I mean, because the reason they're not talking about the aliens is because they're working together. Maybe the government's had a relationship with the aliens all along. Yeah, maybe. Right. Oh. I could see that. Yeah. You know, maybe they've been working together for a long fucking time, and the aliens aren't stupid enough to let us kill ourselves. You know, so um, whenever that's why you'll see a lot of things show up, like when they test missiles and shit. You know, like somehow they get shot out of the sky, and it's not the fucking yeah. government shooting those fucking missiles out of the sky. They get taken out, or they get yeah. fucking disarmed, and they just fall. Disarmed or radioactively inert? Yeah. How, how do you get fucking yeah. disarmed? Who disarmed that bomb? <laughs> Like, Have you ever heard about those those domes? The aliens Russia? are like, no, we can't let you destroy yourselves because then we can't use yeah, you as a resource. I'm an, I'm an alien. alien. That nobody can get to, bro. Could be. I'm an alien. And these domes supposedly they open I look, up. I got a part time house on Mars, and but, then they close and disappear yeah, into the it ground. Could be a reptilian. We wouldn't know. <laughs> and they're in Russia. I mean, I th I think that they obviously have to find some way to hide themselves among us, right? So, shape I mean, shifter. They, yeah, yeah I, 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 I go to Earth in the winter, and then I go back to Mars in the summer. So I kind of commute, you know, back and forth. Well, and and then you notice that the <laughs> the aliens, you know, they have no sex organs on the outside. So how are they reproducing? They uh, they don't need to they don't need to have sex to reproduce anymore. That means they they're creators. They can create species, man. right? Aliens they, with no orgasms, dude. Do they have orgasms? Well, I, mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, That's they're far beyond that. <laughs> they probably got something better than that. They probably got something better than that. You know? Yeah. Maybe, well, maybe they, maybe they drip orgasm. some amber on their tongue and it gives them a way better experience. They don't have their water you know. birthing new people into this world. <laughs> Who fucking knows? I'm not an alien. Right? <laughs> I admit it. I'm an alien. I admit it. <laughs> I've always felt like I was an alien, so I guess I'm an alien. I'm a legal oh, alien. Well. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't cross the border. Legal. I got an intergalactic green card. <laughs> intergalactic green card from Canada. Yeah. I was having this well, yeah, conversation with uh with my buddy Melty well, earlier. Well, if you're born if you're born in America but you're not from America, you get an automatic dual citizenship, <laughs> which means that you're a citizen of both countries. So that comes with extra rights. You can live in whichever country right. you wish. <laughs> yeah. Hey, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, brother. You become a legal resident of this country. Even okay. if your parents aren't. Even if your parents aren't, you can become a citizen on your own. A galactic citizen, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like like her son. His his dad, he got deported, but her son, he was born in the States. So he's legal. Yeah. I was accidentally born in America, but I was Canadian. <laughs> So I have both. I have Canadian. I want to be born in America, but have diplomatic immunity to everything. You know what I mean? Just... Well, you'd have to be a diplomatic dictator. So, is there luck. any such thing in America? That's my I point. Mean, they, there's people. Seems that like every other country America. has stuff like that. There's, there's I don't know anything about politics. So I have no clue what I'm talking about. Well, you can have diplomatic immunity, meaning if you're in this country, we can't touch you. Okay. Like, you're able to come to this country and, and our laws don't apply to you. No. I've always <laughs> seen stuff like that watching TV or something. But like a certain person has diplomatic people. So. <laughs> and, and 
and that as soon as the community is broken, like you know, your parents can have it, but if you're a child, you can ha you have it until a certain point. But then if you become a citizen of this country, you lose that immunity. So like in a case where you, you'd have it to a certain point, and then you'd be you'd be susceptible to our country's laws as well. You know, if you're a yeah, child. diplomatic immunity only applies to certain diplomats, and it's actually that's very restricted on their immunity. Yeah, ah. and you See, they can lose. I mean, if they commit crimes, they can lose those restrictions. No, they can't oh, yeah. be touched, but they'll <laughs> lose those restrictions once they go back. Yeah. And they won't be allowed to So the to come shit back. that I was talking about is just like funny stuff that you would see in the movies. I mean, they, I mean, if they wanted to do a one time crime spree, I guess they'd well, get away with it, but they'd well, never be allowed to. I was talking about doing anything country. like that. It's just like a situation no, to just no, like no, stop and go, it. nope, I have diplomatic community. Sally, I know Thank what you're you. thinking. No, they they yeah. couldn't actually commit an intentional, deliberate murder and get away with it. You know, that would not. You know, if they did commit a serious crime like that, diplomatic immunity wouldn't apply. There's just well, a minor offense. That would be a pretty much if, like a little slap. If they, they killed, if they killed their own people in our yeah, country, that, that would be different. They won't be touched. They could bring someone from their land, suicide them here. And they'd get away with it as I long as think about US, that. as long but as they don't kill a what U.S. A crazy citizen. Loophole. Right. That's they don't right. kill a U.S. citizen. They get away with it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you're a diplomat, immunity, dude, uh, go yeah. alone. So if they want to assassinate someone, they and they're in a, you know, they bring them here. Yeah, and, kill them. Not happy. and then fucking. That's why I like yeah. when they. They probably like, won't be invited back, but there is a loophole. Yeah. 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 That's true. I mean, they probably wouldn't invite them back if they left a big bloodshed pile, you know, for them to clean up, you know? They'd be very upset, <laughs> you know? But yeah, our laws wouldn't apply for them. They probably wouldn't be invited to our country again, though. Oh, yeah. Man, I got to shake this last night off so I can get going party. But yeah, there's people that powerful in this in this world. Yeah. They could literally, yeah. fuck, well, you know, that they're I hear, above I hear Canada has more stricter laws when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, if you're like a, a, a if, if you assaulted, like, say if you assaulted like a woman or you're just an abuser in general, oh. they will not even allow you in Canada. Oh. Well, Canada, if you, oh. have a, if you have a felony. They should have that you. law everywhere, though, me personally. If you're a felon, like, yeah. like, like, I, like, if I had a possession charge when I was 18, right? <laughs> I couldn't come to Canada because I, I I'm listed as a felon. Yeah, you okay. can. I can never go to Canada. No. I'm asking. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter if it's like in my past. It doesn't matter. It's ah. once you have that on your record, you're exiled from Canada. They won't let you in. Yeah. It's, Sorry, ready. No you have to Sorry, ready. You got to visit us. We used to get in hey. trouble. Like I said, right if now, a box goes up on your doorstep and it's got little holes in yeah, it and there's smoke coming out they'll of it, they'll take our packages, but they won't take us. I can see ready. Yep. Yep. You go to they do a package, but they won't take me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the box shows up and it's got holes that are smoking, <laughs> it says air Yeah, we'll let it in. I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll probably cut the box open and let you out before I drag you up the stairs, though. Okay, okay. Heavy. But if it's POD, just yell through one of the holes. POD, bitch. I got to put the money out the little hole. No, well, way. if the smoke's not coming out of the box, I'm putting return yeah. to sender oh, on the box. Yeah, yeah. I don't hear that. Back, yo. Of course, there's water. Of course, there's got to send it back to the family, ready. Of course, there's water. Trying not right. to freeze to death in the <laughs> under compartment of the plane. Yeah, right. Oh, no. You, got, you better I'm bring good. some heating pads. That's all I'm saying. It gets pretty cold down there. <laughs> you better plan this out good. <laughs> A little mini washings. Yeah, there is water in space, Danny. A dab um, space is... Uh, that's why I said if it's smoking... A lot of asteroids are made out of nothing but frozen ice. There's a lot of water floating around in space. Right. So it's possible that an octopus... Could be from another planet, right? Well, that's how, that's, how, that's more or less how we became because it went back nine billion years ago when our planet. Yeah, was just I, I don't rocked. trust those dinosaurs. It was getting bombarded left and right, you know. So there's a lot of stuff that was brought to Earth, like comets, meteors, oh, yeah. all that. You know, that's what basically created the 
genetic that's soup created life that's what they call the big bang theory right well for us it was just i don't think the big bang theory happened like that to me personally like here hold on audio died here uh the big bang say like you know the meteor did come in here and and do its damage but i think the meteor went through the earth and it came out and made a north and south pole with a hole in the middle of it and then the it came theory. back again and got stuck in there i think somehow. the big bang theory that you're thinking well about. then there's the inner world theory too that there's another that's what world i think is going on planet. i think there could be like a world within a world in there Listen, yeah, the big bang theory in the, and the, the way it happened was the meteor got stuck in there and that's how it created okay the big bang theory so is be an alternate universe going on inside of our planet the big bang theory is when our universe was actually created the hubble the new telescope that they're going to be putting up can see back so far in time that they can see back literally to almost when the universe was created that's the big bang theory the yeah. comet the comet hitting the earth is just the comet hitting the earth that well because the what because they're going to watch that the, light fragment that is that's not through that telescope because basically the signal of the of the initial explosion is still out there in space so yeah, they're well, going to send a telescope that can collect that signal here's, here's another another thing. when you look up at the stars at nighttime a lot of those stars you see up there there's a good chance a lot of them don't even exist anymore you're just right. seeing the light that took millions right. of years Get right, so they're going to recollect the refracted light that those, comes off. Those planets might not even exist, but you're just now seeing the light from it, you know? So that's that's how far away they are. And, and in relative terms, you know, it would take yeah. trillions and trillions and trillions of yeah, years. Yeah, we're, we're specs. I get it, bro. But what, yeah. what I'm saying is, they're, how are they able to collect the light that's traveled that far unless they're able to travel that far? Well, they now this new telescope <laughs> putting up only sees in it's it's like Hubble on steroids, it would have, but it's uh, it would have to, it would have to be able to see back eighty million years of light yeah, travel. This new telescope you know I mean? it sees only the infrared spectrum, which is allows the telescope to see back even further than the telescope. So. Check so it, it out. It's be, online, it can so it's actually online. see the process of the Earth being destroyed 80 million years ago. They can see the process of the universe being created trillions of years ago. Universe. Trillions. I mean, that light information is out there somewhere. I just didn't know that there were right. cave, that we had the yeah. capabilities to gather that data yet. Yeah, yeah. The new that, that just proves that there's more shit out there that they they're not telling us, man. They're not telling us a lot if they can we actually get that. New shit every day. I, I do study it. Home. Well, that just means that, that we have instruments that have traveled that far. Well, I, I work for SETI. Right? I'm like volunteer for them. And I listen. How, was, how would we get that unless that's, that's the cool. truth? You know, I got, that's why I got so many computers. Because, you know, the light's reflected and it, it travels, but at, at light speed. So you'd have to be, you'd have to send something traveling faster than light speed. To that destination to see it before it actually hits to rewatch the data. You no, get what I'm saying? It, was, it, no. it would take so much fucking. You, well, you'd have to be. You'd have to be traveling at least. Fucking. Let me, like a bend reality and create a wormhole. Big explosion out here. This big bang theory. Okay? You'd have to travel twice the speed of light to see something before it happened. You got that explosion and all the matter and all that cosmic shit blasts out over millions and millions and millions and millions of years, you know, and then as it, because the, our universe is ever expanding. No, so, I understand that, but that information is going to travel, right? Yeah, that's what the, the, that's speed, what of See, the that's speed of light. The speed of light. It's going to travel at the speed of light. So you'd yeah. have to have something at least twice as fast to collect that information. So you'd no, have to have a satellite could move twice the speed of light. No, you just see it. The spectrums is what gives you the information. Those spectrums of light that you say see. You would have to see it in a different dimension to make it go faster. Yeah. Like I yeah, we have speed. to have instruments that could handle that, and they're not. They haven't well, exposed the government has not exposed that we have anything that can do that. I'm just saying they have far capabilities that are they're not talking about. Uh, they say that quantum computers go multi-dimensional. 
Well, that being true, you know, if, if I that's don't know. True, I don't know. Those really expensive multi-million dollar computers can go somewhere else to like some dimension and get information to come back. And that's that's the things I'm hearing. Well, that'd be fucking cool. I yeah. graduated in college. It, I have a BA degree in astrophysics. Well, that means oh, that see. that means that there's I'm no like way in fuck that we're here alone. And stuff like that. That means there's no way in fuck we're here alone, and they just haven't told yeah, us anything. I don't believe that we're here. There's no way. That's that would be idiocracy to think that we're the only life in the universe. That's yeah. just simply just bullshit. You know, we are the only life, not the only life in the universe. There's no, we're the only life that's that's talked about on this planet. <laughs> you, um, let's just put it that way. Insane, man. Let, let's just say there's got to be other species even on this planet that are not human. They're disguised oh, as human. Something there's like gotta be. Thirty-two. I mean, there's no, there's no way. If there's intergalactic space travel, there's no way that we have a planet that's null and void of that. Which means that they're, they, they've already made contracts with the government, and they have fucking lizard people walking around. Right. That's probably the men or in black. Right, you know, you know too much, they confident. fucking kill you. You disappear. You suicide yourself. You know, those are the people that really you should be scared of. The people with no yeah. names. Justin, bro. Oh. There's a. Uh, there's <laughs> another theory. It's completely, it's completely off the wall. Right? What's that? Listen to this. A while back, that some claim that some of these beings that we see, some things that aren't meant to be here, are remnants of uh, Nephilim, the Seraphim, and all of them. Well, what if what if what if the the movements in my that I see and the things that are moving are just intergalactic, like interdimensional pulls on reality, which means there's things here that I just can't see. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like things actually are here knocking shit over, but I just can't see them. They're 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 happening all around me, but I don't see them. Well, the proof is that these entities are around us. I mean, a while back, like they can see us, but we can't see them, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, like invisible yeah. beings that travel among us. Metahuman almost. Metahuman. Well, I, I mean, they could be an alien species that's just like a watcher species. We can't see them, so what? they're just watching us all the time. And sometimes they just decide to fuck with us, maybe. The watcher. You know, maybe, you know just you know, they're like, oh, you know. So if you believe, they're like, all right, let's just taunt him. You know, oh, these guys are good. Know, oh, man, they might be a fucking taunter <laughs> race. They might just be watching us do weird shit, you know? They might watch you pick your nose. Who fucking knows? You know? Yeah, they just be watching us for the fuck of it. Dude, yeah, dude. They could just be fucking probing you while you're taking, you know? Never mind. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck, man. Oh, fuck. And if anal oh, probing's God. true, well, fuck, I don't want to know what their sex looks like. Man, that's not a good thing, Justin. I want someone with your on, man. That! <laughs> Maybe it's wasting. Maybe the aliens killed the dinosaurs. Maybe. Because they were eating too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? My phone's Maybe about to die, so Maybe. I'm going to switch to my computer. I'll be right back. Maybe the, dinos Maybe the dinosaurs could see them. So that, you know, even though we can't, maybe the dinosaurs could see them. So they had to take them out. The dinosaurs kept eating them. And yeah, they're like, fuck these motherfuckers. We can't deal with this shit. I'm just going to take them all out. Started oh, shooting them. Oh, right? With death rays yeah. and just started frying them. Who knows? Dinosaur death rays. It could happen. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dinosaur death rays. How do we know Torok isn't real? You know? Torok the dinosaur hunter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to I used to have those comics back in the day. I collected them. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. How do we know it wasn't like Torok the dinosaur hunter back in the day, and the aliens just got sick of fighting these fuckers, so they just melted them all. Right. It's like, nah, not doing it. Dinosaurs are too big, too dangerous. We'll just wipe them all out. Fuck this shit. The aliens just like that down. down. They're just like not doing it. They they let the alligators stay because they they were smart enough to stay away from the water. They're just like, yeah, we'll just stay away from the water. We'll be good. Right. Yeah. 
What if they evolved in the water and that's what became like well, that's like another the dinosaur age. versions well, of what's going on and with that land? Well, that's the, that's the Atlantean mer- mermaid people, you know. Right. <laughs> what if those ones exist too, man? That'd be fucked. Well, man. they had sea monsters that were would be considered like you know dinosaurs. But what if the mermaid people are aliens just living on By in the water? Among well, you got to think about it. Water itself is another <laughs> multi-dimensional. We are not Me- dimensional <laughs> reality if you really want to go there waters we you know they say that dolphins are the other multi uh, or the other alien species that live on this planet they could oh, be considered yeah. something else because they live in a different dimension a water dimension you know what i mean but they're mammals and you know what i mean yeah they have smart, the capability too. as humans they're smart too they're really right. smart very smart. The there was a, an ancient tribe in Africa called the the Dogu tribe that got their <laughs> star knowledge back in the day when there were no telescopes or anything, and they had more knowledge than most people who had like degrees and telescopes, dude. And everyone wondered where did this primitive culture get their knowledge from? If you know, they didn't have telescopes back then. I always thought that too, and they were able to, you know write star maps and stuff of certain dates that happen and right. make, like and, hieroglyphics and the, stone, and the stone work that they used oh. to do back in the day we still can't recreate no. yeah yeah so yeah. explain that one explain that one if they move those stones and we still can't do it because yeah. you know, right. if we could we would right if we could so, build those fucking giant stone things we would we can't we can't move the stones none of our equipment can carry those stones so how they do it not, they say that they moved him with certain frequencies. I mean, yeah, there was a guy that was actually there was a guy that was actually moving the stones. But why well, have we Florida, lost that yeah. technology? Why why are they more advanced than us? We not you only lost I mean? the technology, he got he died. I think it was right. Yeah, the guy. Oh, the guy, was was the guy that was yeah, moving the stone. The guy that was moving the stone. He died. Yeah, yeah, he died. He was in oh, Florida. Oh, he suicided. Fuck man. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. He suicided. Yeah. He suicided. Uh huh. Just remember the guy that made uh, a car that runs on water. Remember what happened to him? Like I said, you know, you got to be just, careful what you actually talk about because yeah, they, they the might government suicide your ass. <laughs> no, I, yeah, he's gone completely. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he, they they get suicided. You talk too much, they just suicide you. The guy who created that car that ran on water. They you know, they're like the, the family's like they disappeared him. He's never showed any signs of being suicidal. They're like, well, we found him hanging from a noose. No, no, uh, that the guy's like, they'll just explain it. it. Uh, it's always the quiet ones you got to worry about. <laughs> always the quiet like, ones. No, right? no, you guys killed him. You guys killed him because he was talking about you. <laughs> you dumb whack. I got a jet, guys. I'm, gonna, I'm about to go to Whataburger right now. But, uh, all right. So all right you got on, I'll jump back on. I don't know how all that alien and death talk made you hungry. But it kind of did the same thing to me. I'm kind of hungry too. The truck right. we were looking at is okay, a problem. I could definitely use some Wonder Burger. Whatever well, no, the fuck I, that I, is. Then we had a family member come in and go, Wonder Burger, let's go now. Uh, all right. You're like, hey, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> all right, guys. No worries. All right, but I'm gonna go make some dinner one. too. I'll catch everybody later. Yeah. All right. Man. Doctor's live, right? Doctor's live, doctor's live, so you guys can go party with him. Cheers, <laughs> Justin T. Later. Later. Johnny.